<clears throat> Alright, so this is a successful attempt. I, it just occurred to me while I was outside smoking a cigarette that uh, I would... I've been wanting to run multiple instances of QuickTime in order to do a uh, screen recording like I'm doing now where I've got the iPhone camera plugged in via Thunderbolt and uh, our USB and uh, for whatever reason it doesn't allow you to do that it, running just one instance of QuickTime so I found myself wondering how to how to do a second install and all I did <laughs> it was so simple it, was, it, it avoided me all I did was copy and paste the application and now I have as you can see down here QuickTime and then QuickTime player copy and uh, I'm able to do here's what I did I just did file new movie recording it comes up here and then I go to the other instance of QuickTime and I do file new movie recording and right now it's selected as, as this as the double which is kind of interesting in itself but you change the camera instead of my iPhone here I make it the FaceTime and now I'm able to have two different camera angles one that is mobile one that I can move around on its own and the stationary one which is the webcam here so yeah all I had to do was go into the applications here do a edit copy edit paste and I got a multiple instances of QuickTime and now I'm able to do a more dynamic screen recording than I was previously able to do prior to this I had to switch back and forth and load up a, a webcam feature uh, that would use like a, a browser webcam thing that, that allowed me to have the webcam thing going while I had this as the video source for QuickTime so now I can capture both of these at the same time and if I really wanted I guess I could do uh, a third iPhone connected the same or uh, third video the second iPhone since I have two USB ports I could do it that way and I guess I could do a third if I had a Thunderbolt to Thunderbolt cable so I'm not gonna do anything with it just yet I got an idea for doing a recording here later we're gonna try to do uh, Bonehead by Naked City here. I've got a new roommate that plays drums and the guitar riff is pretty simple. The drumming's pretty fucking nuts and the saxophone is pretty nuts, but uh, a pal in Pittsburgh by the name of Ben Opie uh, I'm sure can pull the sax off because he's pretty phenomenal on the sax. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay down the first first bit and maybe do a a layering on audio, uh, I mean on voice, where I'll use Audacity. I'll be running Audacity at the same time since I have more control of the microphone sensitivity that way. And then <clears throat> I'll do a vocal track over top of it, and then I'll send the audio to Ben Opie in uh, Pittsburgh and see if he can come up with something to go with it, or if, he, or if he's up to it. I think. I think it's something he could do rather nicely, and my uh, standards might be a lot lower than his as far as the how it sounds. I just just give me crazy sax, Ben. Just give me crazy sax, not yakety sax. Just give me the crazy shit, and then we'll have a rendition of this bonehead, which I think will be rather fun to do.